What's up guys and welcome back to Monbazoo. If you're enjoying this series, make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe. If you haven't already, it would be greatly appreciated. In the last episode, we spoke with Roger, and I don't know how I missed this during our conversation with him, but he did actually tell us he's hoping to open up his new store come the next weekday. So I suppose that means he's going to be open on Monday, but we've got a little bit of time to kill until then. So what I'm planning on doing... I want to I wanna really try to utilize the underground bunker a lot more. Obviously, we can only buy so many of these uh, planner pot things from Melanie, but I just want to keep purchasing those as many as we can every single day and just get this whole bunker filled up with as many um, oregano plants as we, uh, as we possibly can. However, we're going to need to make a little bit of money, and I think there's one thing on our list in here that is... Uh, it's fairly doable. The fertilizer machine or the composter machine. I think that's going to help us out tremendously down there. So basically what that's going to do, we would have potatoes like we already do. And we can take that organic matter. You could probably use the oregano as well. But you could take that organic matter and put it into the composter machine to make fertilizer. That's obviously going to speed up the growth time, hopefully, I guess, of our um, oregano. But um, until then... I think we're going to continue to utilize the above ground field here. And I'm just going to go around and start getting it all planted. We had about 750 seeds when I started. We're down to 255 now after getting the entire field planted. Also, I, I realize that it kind of looks like I don't have anything planted in those uh, later pots there. But I do. It's just a very, very fresh plant. So let's come back into our shed here. We'll grab our watering can. We got a couple of dry spots here in the fields. A lot more down there than up here. So just going to tend to this really quick. And then we'll make our way out to the sugar shack. So we can see what we got going on over there, dude. We've, we've got a couple of different ways that we can um, that we can make money, you know. I definitely think the oregano is a, is a solid source of revenue. Solid source of income. But honestly... I kind of like the maple syrup, too. So if I remember right, didn't we just bring back, like, a whole bunch of barrels? Oh, perfect, dude. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so we've got a little bit chilling in the reservoir. I'm going to go ahead and get this thing kicked on here, and we'll just start filling barrels. It's looking like just two barrels is all we're going to be able to get done right now anyways. We'll let the machine, you know, keep doing what it do. But let's hop in the truck. I want to go over to the dealers. You guys remember the dealers? It's been a long time since we visited them. So I want to make my way back out there since I believe we're supposed to buy the, uh, the bunker compost machine from them. I just want to figure out how much it actually costs, you know? Can we buy it right now? Are we going to have to wait? Wait a minute. Wait just a minute. Is he... Hold the phone. Is he open? They probably have like, yeah, regular during during the week, the weekdays, I guess, business hours. Dude, that place looks insane. Okay, I don't want to spoil too much. We'll come back when he's actually open and ready for business. Kind of unassuming back here, you know? Like if, if you didn't know the barn was was even back here, you'd probably never see it. Unfortunately, I don't really have much to sell. I guess we can offload, you know, whatever we've got, but I'm really just here so we can head inside to figure out how much the uh, composter machine actually costs. Let's go see our, let's go see our friends. Wait, you guys have hours too? Kind of forgot about that. Okay. Hey guys, how's it, how's it going? Just getting a lot of blank stares right now. A lot of lot of blank stairs those are dope dude universal too so we might be able to use them on the truck maybe if we wanted to to do something like that that is very very cool okay this is what we came here for 10 big ones 10 g's there's also a french fry press oh right we can make money with french fries now too okay well Listen here, guys. I've got to kind of consider my options, okay? I've got to kind of, you know, weigh weigh the options here to figure out 
what I'm gonna, okay, just go, 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 go. I really didn't want to be that guy that like, you know, walks into your place of business with zero intent to actually buy anything, just simply window shopping. I don't want to be that guy, but we just were that guy, which is why we're just running on out of there. Also, I remembered we can't actually sell the packs that we have. I mean, we can, um, but we, we need 27 of them or something like that. Otherwise, we'd have to sell like one huge pack, which I don't even think we can, I don't even think we can make those. We gotta go sip on some syrup, dude, before we just keel over and die. God, my packs are falling out the truck too. Oh yeah, we've already got a, a pre-made one right there. Perfect. Okay, uh, well let's get a few more barrels going. We'll head back over to the house, probably have us a poutine, and then we can head to bed. Wait a minute, we just got 1200 bucks. It's Sunday. It's Sunday. Also, I'm about to die from exhaustion, so I should probably just wrap this up and actually head to bed like I said I was going to do. But I drove past the field, you guys, and I noticed it's all bone dry. We can't be having that, especially if we, you know, want this stuff to actually grow. So I'm just, I'm trying to be real quick about it. Is the other one, the other one's bone dry as well. You know what? That's as good as, that's as good as it's going to get tonight. I'm, I'm just, I'm not trying to die out here. Let's head to bed. We really like sleeping in. <laughs> it's nearly 11, dude. It's nearly 11 a.m. already. Unbelievable. Okay, picking up where we left off. I'm going to finish this out really quick, and then uh, we'll figure out what we need to do afterwards. Dude, what the heck's this about? Okay, I was going to leave the truck running. Um, I know we filled it up in the previous episode. Was it running like when we died or something? Anyways, we're gonna have to fill that thing back up again. This was running all night long. Now that we know the truck's on E, I definitely want to make a special trip out to the gas station. Uh, just so we can, you know, just so we can fill the tank on that old girl. But also, I think I'm gonna bring... Maybe just six barrels. Oh wait, it's Sunday. No, I'm not. I'm not I'm not gonna do any of that. Is the gas station even open on Sunday? You guys, it's seriously been so long since we played this that I can't remember anything. Oh no. No! I can't even coast there, dude. It's so close. Actually, I might be able to use the winch. I might be able to use the winch to get us the rest of the way. And even then, dude, even if I make it all the way over there, what are the odds that we can actually fill up the tank on a Sunday? Because I, I know for a fact that they're closed. Yeah, this'll this'll be fun. Trying to get the trying to get the truck all the way over there. Okay, so we have to start by placing that on the ground. Then we can hook it to the front bumper. Wow, this is gonna be slow moving. Oh, it's not it's not too bad. Can we can we push cars too? I just don't remember. I just don't remember, you guys. I'm not super stoked about having to do this right now, but I've decided it's probably easiest if we just walk all the way out to the racetrack. I'm fairly certain that we'll at least have a jerry can out here. Also, this must be where our E36 is. We have a race car as well. And then the, the derby car. We've got three other cars. I'm fairly certain that they should all be out here. But the jerry can is ultimately what we're after. We made it. We finally made it. We got the E36 parked out here. The race car still kind of chilling in the garage. And here is what we came for. That's the 10 liter. We want the 20. There it is. We'll get this put probably just in the back of the E36. And we'll drive this old girl on over to the gas station. Kind of forgot what this thing sounded like actually. Okay, and e-brake, of course. That's right, dude. This thing rips. We are cruising right now, brother. Okay, slow it down. Slow it down. Honestly, I got on the brakes at, like, the perfect time. Otherwise, we probably would have overshot. Okay, how's fuel on this old girl? Ah, oh, we're chilling. We can probably just leave it on. And then this is... This is the big question, right? I, I'm still not really sure if... If we can actually fill up even though the gas station's closed. 
gonna want super, of course. We can. Okay, good. Good. Everything's fine then, you guys. We're gonna be just fine. What a day, you guys. What a day. But it's finally over. Well, almost. I have decided to leave the E36 just outside the uh, gas station, though. Someday, some someday, I have no idea when, we'll come back and, and actually pick that thing up. Probably with the trailer. That way we don't have to, you know, just walk for miles at a time. Oh, hey, look who it is. It's all the street racers. Kind of forgot about that, too, dude. And now they're they're doing their street racing like lineup uh, right out front of Roger's new shop. The next day. Today's the day, ladies and gents. Today's the day we finally get to go see. Oh, and that doesn't work either. Dang it! Th so in the previous episode, I was kind of talking about how I, I hear all the time like Tuji, you need to just back up to this circle and it'll auto, you know unload your barrels well that doesn't work and finally someone suggested maybe we try this new one over here this seems like it's for the new tanker thing for the truck maybe which makes makes sense we'll just have to continue unloading these manually i'm certainly not complaining it would be a little bit faster if we could just drive over the thing but not the end of the world okay that brings us to almost enough money almost enough money to purchase the composter. Whoops. Got to move some of the doobage. Some of the doobage is kind of blocking our, our driver's side door there. But I, I said today is the day because we're finally going to be able to go see Roger's new shop. So let's make our way over there and uh, we'll finally, finally get to do that. I don't know if this is just like post-COVID brain fog or if I'm actually somehow losing brain cells, but it's been very difficult for me to finish the simplest of sentences today. So I do I do apologize. It, um, it's been rough for me as well, if it's been rough for you watching this. Dude, there's so much stuff in here. There are so many things. Okay, some of the stuff is similar to like what the gas station might sell. We've seen those seats before. Oh, the bus is cruising by. Hey, what's going on, buddy? Good to see ya. Got some new rim options, potentially. Oh, those are just display. Okay. An old truck, truck nuts. Who wouldn't want those, right? Who wouldn't want those? Do you sell a lot of those, Raj? How's it going? Fresh tire smell, nothing better. Got a couple of hood options still. So he's basically taken his like little pop-up shop and really, really just built on that a ton we've got even more wheel spacers over there here we go the leaf springs dude oh we've got drop springs as well okay so the heavy duty ones that's probably going to be our lift kits no we've got actual lift kits on this side dude a 12 that's a full foot a full foot lift kit for the old pick -em up truck how much does that run i'm not trying to purchase really anything right now i'm just trying to sort of get a feel for uh for what he's what he's offering what else we got over here some off-road tires okay that could be cool some sport tires as well what kind of tires do we have on it right now just some junk just some junk tires i guess right on right on some universal gauges different types of sprays and stuff Okay, he's still got still got the spoilers. Oh, baby, check this out. We've got a bunch of new bolts, all different colors, of course. A little magnetic tray over there. The turb ski. We've already got the turb ski, right? Again, uh, it's been so long since we played, I, I can't even remember what all we what all we've actually purchased. Some nitrous stuff over there. This is insane. Oh, and then the OEM intake for the E36. Interesting. Okay, over here we've got some different types of wheels that we can purchase. I don't know off the top of my head if any of these are new. Well, these, for sure I've never seen these. Uh, these middle ones here might be new. These ones might be new as well. And the ones on the end. Again, I'm just... I'm just not 100% certain 
Got some new bumpers over here, some off-roading bumpers, a snorkel. Dude, and then more truck nuts, of course. Some racks too for the truck bed. And then we can also recharge our uh, Nas here. He used to do that sort of out the back of his van, but now he's got his own storefront. Wait, performance and then new OE. Interesting, okay. That's pretty cool too. Some more jack stands. All those exhaust options we've seen already. This is incredible. And then I've saved the best for last intentionally. Oh, a little furniture rim shelf too. That is not best for last. This, you guys, a garage car lift. Not implemented in the game yet. What a tease. What a tease. Here I am thinking, oh, surely it's in the store. That means we're going to be able to buy it. Not quite yet. Not quite yet. Hey, Roger, let me know when we can buy that thing, okay? I'm very, very interested. What a cool spot, dude. What a cool spot. Well, like I said, I'm not going to buy anything right now. I just kind of wanted to get a feel for all the stuff that he has uh, available to us. And now we know. So we can start saving up even more money for, uh, for some of that. But I really, I really think we need to sort of invest in ourselves first, uh, figure out how we can make even more money. And then, then we'll go back to Roger's spot and, uh, and start purchasing some parts. But for right now, we're gonna head back to Melanie's real quick. God, I keep trying to hit enter to get out of the vehicles. Uh, but we're gonna head back to Melanie's and grab all of these. In the previous episode, I completely forgot she had three more of these suckers inside, so I'm getting them all this time. I've got all of our little planner boxes unloaded from the truck and uh, set up down here inside the bunker. I don't have them full of seeds yet. They're not growing anything. I'm really trying to keep everything sort of growing around the same time. Also went through and watered the uh, above ground field, so that's looking good, but we need a little bit more money. Now, unfortunately, most places by this time are gonna be closed for the day. So what I wanna do instead is just head into town. We've got a couple of, oh, parking brake, of course. We've got a couple of doobage packages around here. So I'm thinking we just try to find somebody that we can sell a few of those to really quick. We'll get a little bit more money in our pocket, then we can head back out to the dealers and buy the compost dealio. So. As far as compost goes, potatoes are probably the best, like, they're, they're best used for that, is what I'm trying to say. So I'm thinking, rather than, like, worrying about selling potatoes, like, ever, we should just use the potatoes for our own fuel, for our own food consumption. Uh, in addition to that, though, we should just use them for our fertilizer. I feel like that's sort of the, uh, the best plan anyways. They're still here. They're still here. Okay, we've got to make this quick because I'm sure they're going to close very, very soon. Way too big. Come on, bud. Come on. I don't have any small packs. Hang on. I think we can, we can break these up. There's one. Nice, nice, nice. What about Norman? There it is. Okay, still not enough money though. And I just broke up one of those packs. For what? Couple hundred bucks. Is this guy still here? Oh, Chef. Chef is still here. Let's see if Chef will buy one of the big ones. Maybe I should report you. Okay, sorry, bud. We're just, we're gonna go now. Okay, good talking to you. Unfortunately for us, there just aren't that many people available right now to uh, buy the goods that we're selling. So we're gonna head back home before we die of dehydration again. One minute, 37 seconds later. Well, I mean, we tried. We got real close too, it's, it's right there. It's kind of unfortunate now. We don't even really need to be over here because we don't really need a drink anymore after, after dying. So let's take the truck right on back home and we'll probably skip night the next morning you guys i know i know we were just here yesterday 
and and they they bought from us. It was very very nice of them. Um, but we're gonna try again because we really really need money. Okay, it's still still too much for them. Good news though, I've got smaller packs. There it is, 65 bones. Um, this is not gonna be enough still. Wow, okay, we're uh, just a couple of bucks short, so I guess, actually, you know what? Yeah, we have, we have a couple of barrels that need picked up from the Federation, so we'll head down here. We'll see if Edic, maybe Edic will buy Big Pack. We'll see if he's in here. Edic? Edic, I have deal of lifetime. Okay, never mind. Sorry, I forgot you're not interested. Maybe Raj is here. Yeah, there he is. Let's go see. Maybe he'll maybe he'll buy a big pack from us. He has no idea how helpful that would be. There it is. 500 bucks. Okay, Roger, thank you. Thank you so much. I promise we will do business with you eventually, okay? I'm just, I'm really trying not to rush things, trying to get all of our ducks in a row, so to speak. Now then, we're good to head back to the dealers. It's time we get our, our little compost fertilizer deal. Thankfully, they just opened about 30 minutes ago. Afternoon, gentlemen, how are we doing? Lovely to see you all again. This is what we came for. Yeah, I know, we actually came and bought something this time. So we don't have to, yeah, we don't have to haul that back to the house or anything. It should just sort of be there so we'll head back and we can check it out i went ahead and unloaded our empty barrels over at the sugar shack really quick but this compost or this fertilizer deal better be worth it because we kind of spent just about all of our money on it so from what i understand we just need to start filling it up with organic matter and that can either be taters or the oregano that we're growing literally everywhere so let's equip this We'll bring it downstairs, see if we can at least fill this composter thing. Oh. Wow, it's that easy. And it doesn't even take that much. Okie dokie then. So we can close this. And then when the fertilizer is ready to be packed, it'll spit out a little fertilizer deal right there. And I think we just... We just put it in here somehow? Because that's our fertilizer reservoir. We'll figure it out, right? We'll figure it out. I'm not super worried about it, except I kind of am, because again, we sort of spent all of our money. But let's go make sure really quick that we've actually got it scratched off the list now. There we go. Buy the fertilizer machine, done deal. It's always nice when, you know, we, we start things out with an end goal in mind and we actually see it through to the end. So having said that, I do think that's probably where we're going to wind things down at for today. But once again, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.